What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Mike Dyack. I am a master plumber and HVAC contractor. This morning, Friday, February 23rd, 2024, we're on our way to an emergency, possibly recall. Uh, just the other day, we installed a six zone and four zone Taco switching relay for zone valves. Last night at around 11.30, the, the customer sends me this text message as a video attachment. Obviously, there's something shorting out, uh, possibly with zones five and six. On this six zone switching relay, let's go over there, see what's going on. And of course, arriving on site and everything is working. Uh, let's loosen up that one more screw right there. Wow, it just went out. Saw that? Brand new, by the way, in case you're wondering. Okay, that's in there. <clears throat> and this is one of those perfect examples on why I like to video document my service calls. You know, not only do I get to see and review, you know, at a later date, but also if I need to like submit a warranty claim or get you know, the manufacturer on the phone, uh, it's great to have a picture or video of what it's going and what's doing. You know, to the trained eye, you can trace every single wire here and see what's going on. Now, that 24 volts that, remember, I didn't know what this was going to. Um, I just gave it R and C on one of the zones. Is that right? It's fine, it's getting 24 volts. R is 24 volts on R and there's the common on C. So I figured there isn't a 24 volt connection on here to add that, like you have an older Takeo switching relay. So I just added it there, but that's weird. We definitely, something is definitely loose here. That's the one. Five that's and six. That's one that was dead. Just that? blinking just a little bit right there. Five and six. Okay, something's gonna go on. Oh, one just went on here. Yep. Okay, so that's that's. Um, what is five and six? Nine and ten? Do you do we uh, figure that out? Nine and ten is. Uh, this is your text, right? So ten. Is the living room. That's a regular thermostat? That's a regular one. And nine? Uh, don't know. Mm. Probably. Let me turn that one on now. Yeah, sure. It's on four. that the zone five is a Wi-Fi thermostat zone six is a traditional zone nine is Wi-Fi too Tradi zone what zone nine the den is Wi-Fi too. yeah no but zone five here right. yeah zone five here is a Wi-Fi thermostat and zone six is a traditional two-wire 
R, H, and W, which is slowly blinking there in the background. We're missing the jumper. You know, one and two is power, three and four is end switch. When one and two get power, the valve actuator heats up, opens, once it fully opens, closes end switch, and three and four are a closed circuit, and then the light comes on. So it was missing the jumper. And here, the only thing is that five and six, which is zoned nine and 10, are flashing a little bit. So let me put the den back onto its normal routine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I just got on the phone with Taco. By the way, they have phenomenal tech support. Um, if you ever have to call Taco, it kind of, it gets kind of like <laughs> you're calling, I don't know, like NASA, you know, press two for plant coat closures due to weather or other incidents. Press, you know, four for human resource. Like, come on, like, most people are calling our, our, our end users, but nonetheless, if you have to call Taco, they're in Rhode Island, I believe, uh, on, the, in the, on the Northeast New England. And if you press option seven, uh, it will be tech support department. Um, I got a great, great, wonderful woman on the phone um, who asked me for my zip code before we proceeded. And then my name, of course, I already told who I was, Mike from Pipe Doctor. And I told her, listen, I have this uh, ZVC 406 expandable. It's two days old and you know, zones five and six. Uh, the power indicator is like very dimly uh, flashing. She goes, listen, it's a, I'm sorry, but it's a known phenomenon. It does not affect operation. Um, it's normal. And I was like, that's odd. Okay. I was like, no problem. And then I asked her about the, the four zone. And she goes, no, there's no known issues, uh, but it probably have a small fracture or uh, a fracture in, on the PCB, the, the wiring, you know, the, on the printed circuit board. That's probably an issue there. And then she advised me to uh, exchange it at the place of purchase. So. We'll be taking care of that. Order a new one from supplyhouse.com. You know, real people, real service. Not a sponsor of the channel, even though I love them and they're my primary go-to for a lot of things, especially when I need something the next day. Uh, you can always trust on supplyhouse.com to fulfill your order, you know, same day and get it the next day in most cases, depending on where you live in the continental United States. 